Tuscaloosa TV presents in 3, 2, 1. Dateline Schools with your host, Terry Harrington. All this week on Dateline Schools, we're learning about the Blue Water Middle College program as right now is registration time for those kids who want to get into the program starting in the fall. And to tell us all about it, my special guest is the director of the program, Pete Spencer. And Pete, I know a lot of kids, even when they graduate high school, they're not even sure what they want to pursue. So how do you work with uh, the sophomores who are most likely aren't sure what they want to pursue as, a, as an adult? You bet. And, and we, as part of the initial interview, when we meet with them before they enroll, we ask, what do you think you'd be doing or want to be doing you know, five, six years from now a- after college? And some have very specific plans. Others aren't sure. And that's why one of the reasons a middle college is a good thing, it, it's because it allows them to uh, explore some different classes that they might not have access to to at the high school. Um, So that can help them kind of revise their plans if they're not sure. Um, The other thing is the students can pursue a a kind of a general degree at SC4, a liberal arts degree, which I kind of compare that to a wide road, if you will. And and they can take that road for a while before having to veer off into, let's say it's criminal justice or uh, pre-med or something like that. So we we work with them on on helping them identify um, different areas that they might be interested in, but also just the process of taking classes at SC4 sometimes exposes them to something they didn't even know exist before, and if they like the class, then it's something they can pursue more at the college. Have you found many of the kids who have enrolled in the program over the five years that it's been in existence that they're a lot of them are leaning one way or another. Well, some come in clearly, and some of the, some of the more popular ones when they come in are criminal justice. Um, certainly, some of the medical fields, whether it's vets or or you know physicians assistant, doctor, something like nursing, things like that. Um, but some of them will will you know talk about psychology, something they hadn't thought of. They might take two or three psychology classes at SC four, um, and that could lead to their next level, the bachelor's degree. Um, we do hear students that sometimes change, and that can delay their plans at getting a degree a little bit, but it's still worth it if they they figure that out early rather than going off to a university and spending two or three years there and then deciding they want to change. So there's some value in finding out earlier. How many kids are actually enrolled in your program right now? Well, this year we have over 620, so it's it's grown quite a bit. Um, our last two groups, we call them cohorts, that come in in the fall have been over 200. Um, and if that holds again, and you know, we may be over 700 students um, next year. So it's quite quite a lot, but but so far so good with the results. Do you have a pretty high graduation rate with these kids? The graduation rate is above 90 percent, and and that's that's ones who stick with us from the beginning. I mean, more than that will we'll actually graduate with their high school diploma, but they might return to their their home high school or something like that. But almost all our students stay through the full three years of the program, and not only they get their high school diploma, but uh, pushing 60 percent are getting an associate degree as well. We'll be back with more tomorrow. For Dateline Schools, I'm Terry Herring.